Hello, and welcome to the Bookmarking Simplified Podcast. I'm Jen Hansen DePaula. And I'm Marcus DePaula. And Jen, you've been using Instagram for a while. It's the place that you like spending the most of your time, but it's also the place where you've found the best engagement for your clients. Mm -hmm. How long have you been really invested in Instagram at this point? I guess it's been really invested in it. It's like the past five years. When you started off, you said that you just kind of dipped your toe in it. Yes. And when I started seeing clients getting really great engagement and the conversations were really high quality conversations and it wasn't just a passing type of connection like on Facebook or on Twitter, Mm -hmm. I really decided to go deeper into it. And I found the incredible writing community and reading community that's on Instagram. And it's just a fantastic group of people. Well, now that Instagram is getting more mature as a platform, inevitably, just like anything online, things change. Mm -hmm. What do authors need to know about how the platform has changed recently that can help them grow their audience more? People don't like change. No. (laughs) There's a big resistance to it. And with Instagram or with any social media platform, we have to come to an understanding that things are going to be changing because there are literally billions of people using it. And what worked five years ago isn't necessarily going to work today. And so with that growth comes some change. And there are two big changes that I really want authors to know about specifically because it will not only make the experience more enjoyable for them on Instagram, but they'll see more growth, they'll see more connections, and you'll be working with the algorithm rather than against it. That always helps. Yes. (laughs) So what's that first change? So the first big change, and I know that many authors are going to just coil back (laughs) when I say this, is reels. Mm. Reels are exploding right now. And Instagram is putting a lot of emphasis on reels. What are reels? Reels are 15 to 30 second videos that can either be videos of you, it can be screenshots, it can be a collection of images, but it's moving visuals. It's video. Quick moving visuals. Quick moving visuals. And it's pretty much their answer to TikTok, right? Pretty much, yes. But I think and I know that I had this reaction to it. Many people, like specifically on TikTok, they had a bunch of dancing challenges. It's just people doing really goofy things. And when we see, especially many of my fellow introverts, myself included, where we think, oh my God, I have to do a dance. (laughs) I have to act like an idiot, you know. Nobody wants to see me dance. No, no. (laughs) (laughs) I've seen it. You don't. Yeah. But it's not something that you have to mimic. And I think that that's a big mistake thinking, oh, I have to do exactly what everyone's doing. I am such an advocate of saying, okay, let's look at what people are doing, but how can we do it so it's our own style, Mm -hmm. so it reflects who we are, our books, what we're trying to put out in the world, and how can we make it our own? Mm -hmm. You do not have to dance. You will not see me dance (laughs) on TikTok or on TikTok or on Reels. It's something where you get creative. And I think that that's the fun of it. We need to get over that fear of, oh, I don't want to look this way or act this way. You don't have to. There's complete freedom in that. But finding the creativity and the fun that you can have incorporating Reels into your overall strategy And just dipping your toe into it. Again, start simple and get fancy later. Reels are really where the growth is. That's where the visibility is. And if you really want to explode your account, Mm. Reels are the answer. Well, we don't want to go too deep into how to actually use Reels. Can you just tell people really quick, how does it fit in with their other post types, with the standard posts, and then also with stories? Yes. And we will be doing more tutorials and everything like that. So don't worry, we got you covered. But what I would encourage you to do is to start with even just trying one reel a week, doing one to three reels. And this is like, when I I give you these numbers, this is the ideal scenario. Mm -hmm. So doing one to three reels a week, doing three regular posts a week, 
and then also incorporating stories. If you want to do an Instagram Live or an IGTV, that's great too. But really focusing on reels, one to three reels a week, three static or regular posts, and then stories. That's the formula that I would recommend. All right. So Reels is the biggest change mm-hmm. to happen to Instagram in a long time. What is another big change that authors should be aware of? Okay. This one's going to hurt. <laughs> <laughs> when everyone started using Instagram, we all looked at likes as sort of verifying, yes, I have a great post mm. because that was visible. Now, Instagram is diminishing the power of the like. Mm-hmm. Because anyone can do that in passing. It's very, very easy. They want users to be engaging and taking part in the conversation on your posts. So one of the best things that you can do to not only boost your visibility, but to really start to see more engagement on your posts is to get saves, Mm. meaning People are clicking that little bookmark icon that's in the lower right-hand corner of the post, and they're saving it, meaning this is such a great post. I want to see this again later. I don't want to lose this. That makes sense. Yeah. And that's in addition to if they comment. Like Comments are still Comments are still there, yes. But the big stressor right now are saves to posts and shares. Like if they share it to their stories or if they share it to people in DMs, Mm -hmm. that kind of thing. But the saves are the big thing. And then the comments obviously get that community going. That's where the conversation happens. Absolutely. And so that's also very important. But when authors only focus on the likes, they're not going to see that boost in their engagement or in their visibility on Instagram. Once again, we don't want to obsess just about numbers. No, 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 no. All right, so reels and saves are the two things that authors should be considering as they try to adapt to the changes in Instagram. What is the quick make it happen moment for authors? So the make it happen moment for this episode is to start to educate yourself on reels, meaning this, all you have to do is start looking at reels. Okay. And how you can do that is if you're in the feed of your Instagram on your phone, in the middle of the screen, it looks like a little movie clapper and it's a square and it has, I think it has a star in the middle of it. Just click on that and you can start flipping through reels and seeing what people do. And again, you don't have to do what everyone else is doing, but just getting an idea of what reels are. You don't have to make any big commitments. You don't have to do anything right now. Just start watching them and seeing what people are sharing. And here's my challenge to you authors listening. We're all creative people, right? Mm -hmm. And this is an opportunity to get those creative juices flowing. Yes, it's in a medium that most of us are not comfortable with at the moment, but it's all part of our creative process as authors, getting new ideas, finding new ways to share our stories, share our information with people. So that's my challenge to you, listeners. Absolutely. And you don't have to be in front of the camera. Ah. You can be behind the camera. You don't necessarily need to be in the videos, even though people want to see you. Let's save that okay. for another episode. All right. All right. <laughs> well, as always, thank you for listening. And if you find our podcast helpful, please help us let other people know that it's out there. Yes. Share it with your author friends. Leave a comment or a review on your favorite podcast listening platform. And let us know what other questions you might have as you dive deeper into the changes going on in Instagram. Absolutely. See you next time. Bye.